Listen, we we you already know we got to discuss some serious news right now involving Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. You know, uh, he was in an epic battle. You know, he really showed his true warrior spirit. And we're going to break it down here today at Flight Sports TV. So much stuff is going on right now. He was trolled by, you know, Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson. The list goes on. I know we get caught up with those two names, but it was numerous. The Abdullah Masons. Everybody had a, um, a say-so here, you know, uh, but a lot of people haven't been across the ring with a guy that Floyd Kid Austin Schofield was in the ring with. These guys are ducking and dodging, and we're going to break it all down. We must pay homage, y'all. Uh, Floyd Kid Austin Schofield remains undefeated. You know, he is 18-0, and 0, 12. Crazy wins, by the way, a knockout. We're going to break it all down because he's got his eyes set on Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and many others. Listen, I got coffee to the world in the building. History is about to be made. Coffee, I know you got a lot to get off your chest. There's a lot of things percolating with Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. Let's not waste no time with the people. It's Flight Sports TV. Absolutely. Shout out to Flight Sports TV, the hottest shit in the streets, in the world, worldwide, where you don't get the facts. We don't hold nothing back. We don't sugarcoat shit. It's the realest. The fight Saturday was epic. See, people talk all the shit about Floyd Schofield. You say a lot of words and a lot of chatting because all you're doing is chatting. But when it comes down to it, if you're a boxer and you want to create your legacy for real, you get in there with those warriors. Most of you guys are millionaires already. Tank, you're a millionaire. Shakur, you're a millionaire. I believe Kashan is a millionaire. So y'all got y'all money already. If you got good people in your corner, make some good investments, you shouldn't be worried about trying to accomplish money no more. Create your legacy. And don't say that bullshit about, oh, you ain't ready yet. You ain't on my level. When I hear people say, oh, you shouldn't get in the ring with Tank. You ain't ready for Tank. You ain't ready for such a course. Stop, 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 stop. Kid is ready for anybody. He proved that. Tank haven't fought nobody like that Renee dude. Shakur haven't fought. Nobody like that Renee do. I like Tank. I like Shakur. I just love Kid Austin. He's a different type of beast. He's a monster. He the kind of dudes you hit, and he just going to get bigger and stronger. You say, well, he got dropped. No, he really didn't get dropped. He was bobbing and weaving, got caught behind the ear. But if your glove touched the canvas, they count that as a knockdown. That's a, like a balance situation. That's counted as a knockdown. He say, oh, he a no-name. He a no-name. Do you know a motherfucker ranked 55 can knock a nigga out that's number one? You could be ranked number one, and a motherfucker could be ranked 55 and knock your ass out. Styles make fights. You ain't never got hit with a motherfucker like Schofield. Nobody. I believe when Tank was in there with Pitbull and Cruz, they went 12 rounds, right? Tank also went 12 rounds with that other guy. I think he was from Brazil or somewhere. He went 12 rounds with that. And y'all was talking about Tank. Oh, Tank, you could have lost... Tank did lose. Some people had Tank losing the whole fight. Well, why he ain't fought pit bull Cruz again? He ain't fought that pit bull motherfucker again, did he? Why? Them Mexicans be standing on their shield. They go to the toilet, bang. People say, we don't bang. You got to box. You got to box. Sometimes you can't box. Sometimes you got to bang. Sometimes you can't listen to your corner. Your corner's not going to see everything that you see as a boxer. You seeing your corner see some parallel shit. They behind you. This guy right in front of you. You see some shit they don't see. And you trying to do what your corner wants you to do, and you hold them back because you're trying to box the motherfucker. Sometimes you got the bang. Only real boxers know that. I boxed for 14 years. Some things you just don't have to go over. Kid Austin is different. Just like when you saw Muhammad Ali, he was different. Floyd Mayfield, I mean Floyd Mayweather was different. Let's take it to a whole other genre. Michael Jackson, different. Michael Jordan, different. Some people come along every 20 or 40 years that's different. And I like Tank. But don't say this garbage shit about, man, you ain't ready for me yet. If he's not ready for you yet, Shakur, if he's not ready for you yet, and guess what you guys think? Then get in the ring with him. That's going to sell it the shit because the people don't want to see that paper shit. We tired of seeing all that ducking and dodging shit. All that you ain't on my level shit. You only got 18 fights. I got 25 fights. That shit don't mean nothing. A boxer is a boxer, and style makes fights. If you're a boxer, you're going to get out with dude. 
You ain't gonna take no excuses, talk no excuses, get out with dude. Because what happens is when you hit him and he eat your punch and show you he can eat your shit, now you gotta take his punch. Can you eat his shit? Right. Who has you fought that's stronger than fucking kid Austin? Who uh, got him got- like that before? I want to bring something to your attention, Coffee, because uh, it was breaking news. Uh, shout out to FS Promotions. Uh, you make sure you follow them on all social media platforms because they broke the news that, you know, they came in late, you know, when the fight was basically about to go down, bringing paperwork, talking about they're going to move the fight to 12 rounds. Initially, it was supposed to be 10 rounds. You know, um, so I think this also speaks to his warrior spirit. You know, um, they had to initial and sign off um, Floyd Schofield uh, Jr., the trainer. We all know the coach. He he basically did not want nothing to do with the 12 rounds. But, you know, Floyd wanted to give the people a show and he made it happen. Um, what do you think about that whole situation that happened, you know, leading up to that and how Kid Austin was able to seize that moment? First of all, Kid Austin Camp, father, very professional. His father explained this on his uh, Instagram and said they came at the last minute. You must fight two extra rounds with that bullshit. And he just looked at Kid and Kid said, let's get the people a show. It ain't nothing to me. His father said, we only training for 10 rounds, though. But like he said, that speaks to Kid Austin's warrior spirit, spontaneous shit. Yes, that's some bogus shit. You don't come in the last week. We got a contract for 10 rounds. Let's do 10 rounds. That's what the contract for. But y'all want to come with that slick shit, that bogus shit, that bullshit, because maybe because the girl and old girl early, it was a mark, it was a match before that, and she boxed old girl, and she won, and, and they wanted to do something with the fight and extend it and this, that, and other. But kid ain't tripping. That's a fighter for real. He ain't tripping on none of that shit. Because some shit you just can't train for. It's about your heart, how big your heart is. And kid is one of them dudes. He's a monster. A person like that got power in either hands. You ain't never saw nobody in the ring with Shakur or Tank like a Rene. He ain't never taken a Rene not only can fucking hit, and he got power in his shit, but he can take a punch. Rene probably at home right now. I guarantee you, internal bleeding, all type of shit, hemorrhaging and shit, all type of shit. That motherfucker kid beat that motherfucker up. Some people just ain't gonna fall down, especially messing. They like to stand up on their shield. They'll die in the ring. That don't mean he ain't fucked up, he ain't, he ain't dead. He at the crib feeling like he dead. Internal bleeding all over the place. So when y'all talk all this, oh, Tank, he ain't ready for Tank. He ain't ready for Shakur. And Shakur trolling, talking all this, you ain't nobody level shit, but get in the ring with him there, motherfucker. Stop talking all that shit, you woofing. That's capping. We ain't want to hear that shit because you was, had a contract with Devin Haney, offered you twice, and you said the man, you ain't want to make that type of money. Uh, you make more money than that. And all that, man, that's cap shit. And I like, like I said, I like dude. I like motherfucking uh, Shakur. I like Tank. We Chicago. Chicago won't run from nobody and we tell it like it is. And Kid Austin is a different type of motherfucker. You get in the ring with him, like Fraser did Ali, and you show him what's what. It could be Ali 3, like it was with Ali and Fraser. It could be Tank. Look, y'all can have a rematch clause anyway. You lose, you rematch Kid Austin back and forth. But Kid Austin, it ain't that type of motherfucker that's going to go down like that. That's you talking right. about you got 28 fights and 29 fights. Don't think because, oh, dude, they got no name. He ain't shit. You almost lost to a no-name. No, that no-name motherfucker can fight. There's a lot of no-name motherfuckers out here in the fight. You can fight with a nigga in the street. He ain't got no name. He'll beat the fuck at you. It's just the difference from the streets and the square circle is about the discipline. So now when you get hit with some shit, all that other shit go out the window. You got to box this motherfucker now. Because when you don't box and when you don't fall... Some shit that you learned in boxing in your camp ain't just ain't gonna work. Mm-hmm. When you saw Floyd Mayweather got caught by Sugar Shane Mosley or Madonna, mm-hmm. that motherfucker could have fucked Floyd up. Floyd threw the mm-hmm. other out the window. He got the I got a man get technique, technical with this motherfucker. Bang, Listen. get out, do this and do that, and get out. Yeah. Listen, I want to let everybody know this. This is just the beginning. We're going to have stuff rolling out all week long involving Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. This is not the last that you've seen of coffee to the world. He's got a whole lot to get off his chest, you know, and it's about to get real spooky for some of your favorite fighters. That's for sure. It's going to get real ugly because kid is different. Kid is different. Ain't ain't just saying that shit because we fight sports, we behind him. This motherfucker is the kind of motherfucker you hit and he gets stronger. 
Like when you saw the motherfucking monsters on that, what that Jordan flick? He had the monsters, them big old motherfuckers and little Jordan with them little Jordan socks and these big ass motherfuckers bigger than goddamn the Sears Tower with the monsters. That's how fucking Kid Austin, he's a monster. He the kind of motherfucker, he'll take your punch, eat your shit and knock your guy. It don't matter what kind of defense you got. When you got a motherfucker that can knock your defense down, you fucked up. Like Roy Jones Jr. said, when I hit you in the shoulder your, and keep hitting you in the same shoulder, your guard's going to come down. Then everything will be wild. What the fuck you going to do? When a nigga hit you with a rib shot, a gut shot, a short rib, hit you in the face, and you got to take his punch. Because you still got to take kid off the punch. And he good at cutting the ring off. He ain't going nowhere. So you just can't run because he's, like, he's an athlete. So stop talking all that shit. Stop no, whooping. Stop saying that he's scared. Because ain't nobody scared in boxing. It's just y'all trying to be motherfucking calculated if you don't want to lose that bag. But you're losing the bag fighting them bum motherfuckers. We ain't paying for that shit no more. Ain't nobody right. paying for shit about them bum motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Fight. Kid Austin will fight you next week. He'll fight you like yesterday. He ready oh. right now. We, we, we're gonna get we're gonna give more to the people we've got a whole lot to roll out this week you see what's going on here at flight sports do not touch that down make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button be on the lookout because you don't know when it's coming but we got more floyd kiddos and schofield on the way peace and love